Officer on VWS2, uh, I kind of worked for him, uh, for well, my company he was contracted, I uh, was with a British courier service. Really, uh, really probably need to engage in a specialist uh, who is a shock from an adolescent. <coughs> yeah, her name is Mary too, but uh, I can't remember. Last thing, I'm trying to look at look for Charlie's resume and they can't find her name. <laughs> Except I know her name is Mary. <laughs> and we used to run into each other every Friday and I would be drunk. I think I scared the hell out of that woman. But I never see her apologize. <laughs> we were just wild people. It was back in 88. So, 1988. We worked for her. Uh, with living proof with that. Uh, no, Charlie can verify this. Charlie Rose can verify this. She has an antique Coca-Cola machine in her office. And it, and it has those tiny little Coke bottles. I wish I would have kept mine. Those were antiques. I don't know about what I did. I was loose and crazy back then. I was, I was a lot of this. <laughs> So yeah, I think I, I might have scared her a little bit. Yeah, it used to be on Leroy Street, and that's just 41 Leroy. Uh, we had the same, we were in the same. We were next door to each other. She's a nice lady, I'm sorry I gave her the wrong impression because we would only run into each other on Friday and Friday. I'm gonna have some beers. No, I had some beers. I was having beers all day. <laughs> it wasn't a social thing. I went to in a grocery store getting some beers. I go, Mary! It's your girl. And she was like, <coughs> and then I have to calm down. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I'm going to talk to you later because uh, I got the last recording I did. They took out the sound because I was making. I showed, I showed the advertisement on a cake box. I was going to show you the, how I made this, this cake. I got all the eggs. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to do my demonstration. I'll have to do it tonight because it'll be daytime in Kuala Lumpur then. And I'm, I guess I'm in the right place. Some of the specs are correct. If that plane was fl flying full speed, it would be flying at 530 miles an hour. In 17 minutes, that would be about 100, 140 miles about 140 miles towards the coast. I just can't imagine why these people are all idiots that they believe that plane turned around and drifted over 3,000 miles to Australia's waters. God's sake. Anyway, um, I would have done things earlier, but I wanted, to, I wanted to see the extent of stupidity that we going to forgo this such. Because they didn't know what the hell, they didn't know what they were doing. I'm, of course, I'm angry. Because I, I didn't do the math. I didn't, um, <laughs> I didn't really was listening to it because it plane down. That plane sailed. They're trying to, well, I know it didn't co it didn't glide for, for 3,000 miles, okay? And I don't know how well it was filled up. But if it had enough fuel to go to Beijing, that's like about 3,000 miles from where they were. Then that plane turned around, but I don't think, I don't think it was invisible. I think it, cra it turned around and crashed because it looked like it was coming back, but it probably in the spin on the radar looked like it was turning back, but it, it wasn't turning back. It was probably going into a spin and going down, and it looked like it was returning because the plane spin towards the wind. <coughs> Bottom line, I don't think a plane disappeared at all. Look at these big glasses I got, huh? <laughs> I have a pair, but I thought they were too small to have a pair. I'm starting to realize how big these things are. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> Talk to Charlie about that. I forgot his partner's name. I know it was Mary. Yeah, I was going to play something. No, these, don't look, these look about the same size. <laughs> you talking about? Okay. Hmm. I'm too focused on this other thing, so. 
Well, I could play something. Alright. Alright, we'll play something. <laughs> Yeah, I did my Friday thing yesterday. I wanted to tell you about it. I went to pay Warner. I cut my I, I cut my bill in half. It was thirty two dollars. And for some reason, I said, "Give me the fourteen dollar a month." And he said, "Sure." And I said, "Well, what the hell are you?" I'm saying, "Why? Why do you, <laughs> why are these people making me pay thirty two dollars a month?" And every time I go there, they say I don't owe anything. But I pay it anyway. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I don't know why. But you don't know anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm looking for something. Oh. My capo was missing, but it is. Once I stop playing, I'm going to start sniffling. You see, I'm not sniffling now, right? Eh? You don't see that now. find things easier. Thank you. 
I'm looking for a segue to go further, but I can't find another song there. Jump on Jump on here. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it wasn't such a bad day yesterday except for the fact no, I didn't do anything the same time. I had the same time as the church, man. Well, except for 10 beers. So I'm, I'm kind of hurting. I did see you this morning, so that was nice. <laughs> I think it's either somebody else's name, but I'm crazy enough to think. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I get that, 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 that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Glenn Campbell. <laughs> I am the lineman for the county. And I drive the mirror. <laughs> yeah, okay.
okay. Check in with me and see if I landed that airplane in the ocean. Well, that would be the Black Sea. I was in Vietnam, and you know what happened? We sunk a five and a half ton truck in the in the China Sea, in the Black Sea. Yep. And that that piece of crap was a specialist. He sold me a machine gun, some of those submachine guns for thirty-five dollars. And him and him and uh, him and the platoon leader, the lieutenant, were selling the same gun to everybody. They were they were, they sold me the gun, and then they had this inspection like five days later, and and they would say, "Oh, this is illegal. You can't have this." And I said, "And he and he's coming in to inspect with the guy who sold me the gun." So we fix his ass, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> we he took a truck for a ride to the beach, a five and a half ton truck. We said, yeah, let's go to the beach. And we saw what was happening. The truck was sinking. We said, yeah, but we said, we drive closer to the water. <laughs> he did just that. That truck sank like a lead. Like a lead, something or other. Balloon. <laughs> yeah. That five and a half ton vehicle got stuck in the sand and sucked right down. <laughs> got But what happened was now, they had to get that big old spider helicopter crane thing to pull that. Oh, you should have heard it. It was like, you know, when you try. You know, you try to get the shoe out of your mud, uh, and you're, you're in mud, and you want to pull your shoe out, and you do that. <laughs> this was a giant, giant, giant. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was loud. It was like a great big kiss. <laughs> that's what, that's what it was like. It sounded like two giant people were kissing. <laughs> Boy, did that end bad. They got the truck out, because the engine was shot because of the salt water. <laughs> and my man, got his name, he's a specialist. He's just like one grade above a PSC. Corporal in the Marines, and maybe a corporal status. He had to do this for like twice to pay for that truck. <laughs> He got stuck with a 10-year tour. Well, Vietnam ended early, lucky for him. I don't know if he lived through it, but I know he had to keep recruiting himself, re-enlisting, to get the 40 or 50 thousand dollars he had to pay for that truck. That truck was for towing tanks. So <laughs> think about that. <laughs> That's a big advance thing. <laughs> Sell a Nino gun <laughs> that I can't use. It was a, it was, they call it a grease gun. That's what it looked like a grease gun. It was like for close, close combat. So, I never got to bring that home. And that guy's never gone. He's probably still in the service. Probably. That's what's left after you do an eight. Eight, ten years in the service, you ain't, you're not leaving all that convenience behind, you're in, you're in for life. Guns, three meals, hot room and board, Woo. and they paid you. I gotta go. Um, Good to hear from you. And you have a great weekend. <laughs> okay.
together.